I did a video uh, some months back about uh, Dickies versus Red Cap. So I decided to do a follow up. Here you see me wearing the uh, standard traditional Dickies, the brown uh, type shirt. And here you see me wearing other shirts that are out in the market. Some are red cap. And uh, to my surprise now, Dickies is also doing the two-tone shirts. Uh, but the only thing I, I haven't found out yet is if Dickies is going to do it in what they call the stretch material. The red cap and the stretch material is excellent. I like it. It really feels really comfortable. And it's a lot cooler, especially here in Texas. It is extremely hot. As you, you might have seen in some of my other videos, it gets really hot out here. Uh, but the, um, I guess the battle continues between Dickies and red cap, uh, which is good for us, for the consumer, because as you have more choices, you have uh, better selections. Oh, this right here is one of the classics, the, the GM from the 80s or the late 80s that a lot of the guys had. That was one of my favorite shirts for a long time. Uh, I really liked it. But again, the consumer is really going to come out ahead because with options and different materials and different fabrics, you can actually go ahead and find something you're going to like, uh, not only in material wise, but in design wise. And, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, we it, it, it's even if you work for an for a company that doesn't provide uniforms, anytime you wear a uniform, you just elevate your presence and you elevate yourself to the uh, customer that's paying for your services. So, you know, these shirts cost anywhere from twenty dollars to about thirty mid thirties. I believe some of these shirts are. But in, again, in my opinion, if you present yourself as a professional, if you show yourself as being a person of uh, excellence, you are viewed as that. You are judged as that. If you show up in Crocs, shorts, and a t-shirt, just like we had someone show up to our yard to install GPS units, well, you just kind of sort of question their ability to do the job. Uh, but you know, it's just, you know, it's, it, it, you know, perception is everything. So the better you look and you present yourself to the customer, the better off you are. Well, 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 what are we going to be doing here soon? I don't know. It's pretty hot out here. Hell, look at the grass. It's pretty dry. We need some, we need some rain. But meantime, oh yeah, we're going to be having a little project little maintenance, little repair. One of the, a lot of people seem to think one of the greatest backhoes of all time. Yep. We're gonna be talking about the, uh, right there. 580 Super L, four wheel drive machine. This, this machine right here was a legend in its time just a legend anyway i'm gonna be posting some videos uh, i'm thinking about posting some videos we're gonna just be doing some uh, it's a 98 so we're gonna be doing a lot of hydraulic hose replacement and some uh, pm filters and whatnot and we're gonna go from there so hey let me know let me know if you want to follow along thanks for watching